What's going on folks? Hope you guys are doing absolutely awesome today. You're in for a treat. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Thanks for joining us again. Um, we are here at the refuge in Merle's Inlet. The church is having an absolutely an exceptional day today because we have a professional wrestler with us today. And you can see it. A professional wrestling ring. Oh, it's gonna be a great day. Let's go have some fun. You do every time. What? Every time you sign something, you read the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Smart man. Yeah. Oh I my God, God too, man. I'm a life boy. <laughs> I don't okay. care. But we'll be here for 20 minutes. Wait, you want I to know that I'm participating in independent professional wrestling, including, but not limited to, <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's when you hit his intro music. He'll come in. Is that podium good to be in the ring? Mr. Cody Schluter and Mr. Dennis Hubble. How you doing? Dennis is our tech director here at the Refuge, and then Cody is our singer for today. Hey, hey. How are you guys? How excited are you guys about today? Oh, awesome! Super pumped. Are yeah. you really? Yes. Yeah. So you guys really like wrestling? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Handyman Hal in the ring with a professional wrestler, uh, as well as Pastor Benji. The uh, what is he? The uh, Big Daddy Wambo? Mm. Is that? Is that <laughs> See, he yeah. Is? There's this this rumor that's been going around about this phone call. And this <laughs> epic voicemail. So, okay. If you had one wrestler that would be your favorite of all time, what would it be? Oh, I'd have to be Hulk. Oh, Hulk Hogan. okay. Hulk Hogan. Hmm. Yeah. Awesome. I, I, I'd have to go with The Rock. <laughs> oh, Rock yeah. Dwayne sorry, Johnson. Sorry, Hulk. You're number two. You gotta go with The Rock. <laughs> sorry. 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 But you guys ready for the day? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Let's do this. Very excited. It's going to be a great day. The weather's perfect. Um, it is a little warm out here. I ain't going to lie. Maybe uh, I should have chose to wear shorts tonight. Yeah, yeah, you should have. I'm cloaked in orange, too. It, it, just, it can't get any prettier than that. <laughs> right? All you sinners out there need to listen to me today. I'm here to preach the word of God. And if you don't want to hear it, too bad. <laughs> All right, folks, let me introduce you to someone. Um, this is Pastor Bente. Your glasses are falling. <laughs> Let's fix that first. Hold on. You Time out. You'd probably rather me have Cut. ones home without the tape. Right? Oh, really? It doesn't matter. That's up to you. I didn't even know there was tape. <laughs> My new glass. I hear you. I need to get new glasses. All right. Now we're ready. Okay. This is Pastor Benji Wham. He is my boss. And um, so That's today. Not work for you. Yeah, well, let me just say that. Um, yes, I have to keep him in line more than he has to keep me in line. Just saying. So this was his idea today um, for this amazing uh, day. As you guys will find out, the handyman Hal, AKA the alter ego of Hal, is not a big fan of wrestling. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say that for sake, sake. It is, it is, it is. Predetermined. <laughs> Predetermined. Thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, okay. Chad, so, I'm gonna get Chad now. <laughs> we've already talked about that. Um, so this was his idea to have this today. Um, so how excited are you about today? 
I'm excited, man. Uh, I think it's gonna be a good day. The weather's beautiful. <laughs> We've already got a lot of people here, uh, so hoping for a good crowd. Um, man, it's a chance to spread the gospel. Uh, get some people here that probably normally would not come to church. Uh, so, uh, man, that's what it's all about is, you know, and wrestling's just a way of getting them in the door. So it's going to be fun, man. We've had a good time. And it I is. you have fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. But see, he's excited. But what you guys don't know is there was a phone call made. There was a phone call made to uh, this guy named Chad Lale. We'll meet him in a few moments. Um, who is the uh, actual... Retired? Can we say retired? No, he still is. No, he's, he's he still, still is a professional he's just, he's wrestler. Now. Okay. Yeah. Um, there was a phone call made to him. He's the one who's actually going to be speaking today. Uh, do you care to tell? No, you know what? Let's not ask him about that phone call. Let's just watch it. Hey, you reached your voicemail of Chad Lale, a workman and sharer of the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's he's professional all over. wrestler Gunner and former. WWE superstar Jackson Ryder. Sorry I missed your call, but leave a message and I will call you back. God bless and have a great day. Chad, what's up, man? This is Benji Wham. Hey, man, just looking forward to March 6th. Uh, we got everything uh, nailed down. I can't wait to get you here. Remember, the service is at 11. Dude, we even got a wrestling ring. Uh, it's going to be here. You're going to be able to preach out of it. Uh, man, you never know. Maybe you and I can get in the ring after it's over and uh, mix it up. Try not to hurt me. <laughs> anyway, man, uh, just give me a holler. We'll talk to you later, man. Bye. Are you serious? <laughs> you really think you're going to get in the ring with him? <laughs> Listen, man, I'm not scared of him. I, I... Come on, man. Dude. Dude, he's huge. Dude, he was a WWE wrestler, and you know he was a Marine? Ah. No First way. of all, I'm huge, okay, for different reasons. Secondly, all right, I don't care if he was in the WWE. I don't care if he was a Marine, all right? Now, listen, okay, because first of all, this is Big Daddy. He ain't ever been in the ring with nobody like Big Daddy. What you laughing at? Go ahead. Secondly... <laughs> uh, you know, as far as the Marine thing, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I respect all he has done for our country. However, I mean, this ain't G.I. Joe here, okay? We're not playing G.I. Joe. You know what? This isn't even Rambo. This is Wambo, okay? <laughs> so, nah, man. Come on. Bring it. Message saved. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Dude, you can hang off. up. Oh, he hurt. He, he hurt, hurt every last single bit of that. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, I bet you scared now. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's all right. If you need me, Handyman Hal. Oh, handyman Hal can come to your rescue and maybe hop in there, maybe throw a, throw a little hammer. <sighs> yeah, that's comforting. Uh, you ain't ever been in the ring with nobody like Big Daddy. What you laughing at? Go ahead. Secondly, you know, as far as the Marine thing, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I respect all he has done for our country. However, we're not playing G.I. Joe. You know what? This isn't even Rambo. This is Wambo, okay? Hmm. Well, Pastor Benji, their Big Daddy Wambo. Huh. Looks like after I finish preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, I just might have to give you a little lesson from Matthew 12, 36, where Jesus talked about avoiding careless talk. Huh. Looks like I'm also going to have to destroy you in the name of the Lord. What's up? Honey, the cookies are ready. Cook cookies? Did mommy make ice cream too? <laughs> oh man, let's go. Come on. All right, folks, got one more person I need you to introduce, introduce to you. This is the man of the hour. This is why we're here. This is why everybody's excited. I guess I can be excited. I guess I'm gonna have to be excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mr. Chad. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing today? I'm good. So this is Mr. Chad. He's our speaker today. Um, so, who are you really? Well, Chad, you mentioned it. <laughs> from Hickory, North Carolina, man, like you said, we're here for this 
wonderful event we got with the family for the refuge today that share the gospel. A little bit of wrestling ring in there, so it's, hey, why not some live action? I don't know. Really awesome. <laughs> but I've been a professional wrestler for 22 years almost. Left WWE last November, so I wrestle as Gunner, formerly Jackson Riker of WWE, so just a, a boy living his dreams since he was five, man, but now getting a chance to incorporate my ministry within the profession. That's so, awesome. So the ministry, you are actually bringing that word to that. You're preaching tonight, so how excited are you about that? I'm always excited. <laughs> you know, saved at 17 years old, man, and, and getting a, a chance just to share Jesus to a world that truly needs it. Whether it's kids, men, women, doesn't matter. There's people out there that need hope, you need to know what true love is, and For true sure. love is found in the Lord. For sure. So, awesome. Well, we found out that there was a, there was a phone call that was made, and a very unfortunate voicemail <laughs> was left. Yeah. Any comments or words on you know, on that voicemail? Sometimes you just gotta know when to like quiet your mouth, right? <laughs> Pastor Benji, or as he calls himself, Wambo. Mm, yeah. Well, I, mean, we need, I think we need to address that today. So yeah, I, I heard this voicemail, or he said, you know, this isn't GI Joe or whatever. First of all, I'm a Marine. Complete right? difference in GI Joe and Marine. So today, Pastor Benji, Wambo, uh, we're gonna address this situation. <laughs> have, have a few words and watch yourself. That's correct. This is fun. <laughs> come on. So when I say you want the handyman, you got it. And that's when his music will play. He'll come out. We'll go through the match. Um, we'll hand the mics off. And then at the conclusion, when Philip, you know, he'll point, anytime he needs a bell ring, he'll point at you. Yeah, I can just set them on the ring or, some, or side of the ring. Right there, okay. All right, folks. This is Philip Griffith. We're doing it, guys. I finally got him. Philip is my cousin. He is, um, he's Ashley's brother. Sorry, Ashley. Nightmare 10, once again. Nightmare 10 is his Facebook, not his Facebook, excuse me, his Facebook. YouTube this handle. rookie over here. You know, he is probably, out of all Switch. of his folks, or out of all the people here, I think that he is like the biggest the biggest wrestling fan that there is and has always been. He is going to be our fake, uh, re oh, excuse me. Oh, oh my God. We'll edit that out later. It's fine. <laughs> no, don't, you can't say that. He is going to be our, well, so, well, yes, he can be, but I can use the word fake on this one. He is going to be our fake ref. Okay, because I'm, yeah, no, okay, I'm I can't say everything that. else is no spoilers, fake, yeah. but he's going to be our ref. Mm. Are you ready for this, sir? Philip, oh, are you I'm ready. ready for this? I'm ready. I'm looking at the ring. I'm so mesmerized. I can't. I'm ready. <laughs> I haven't been in a ring in like five years. I'm ready. You got in a ring? Yeah, I used to train, son. You don't know this. He doesn't know this. Look at this, baby. I was born to be this. Boy. kind of through social media through texting through different means we've just kind of stayed in touch all these years and uh, just you know our friendships kind of grown a little bit we just encourage one another and it's just been so cool because from a distance I've just watched his walk with God and him draw closer to God and really seen him go from Chad the wrestler to Chad the servant of Christ and then it's like wrestling's in the background it's just been really neat to see what God has done in his life and so it was funny he uh, back in back in the uh, fall we started talking again about getting him here and uh, when when uh, he left the WWE he uh, we talked like just a few days afterwards he said bro I'm ready to come let's do this and so uh, we worked it out and we made it happen and finally last night after 10 years i finally got to meet him face to face but man you're my family he's my family so i just love it when the family can all get together so can we welcome i think what he told me last night one of the last times he was in a wrestling ring in merle's inlet he wrestled at the beaver bar during bike week <laughs> 
So a little different today, uh, but hey, can we welcome back to Merle's Inlet. Let's stand to your feet and let's honor the man of God, Chad Lale. I've ever had a theme song coming to preach before, but it's a little different, all right? When he told me I was going to be preaching out of a ring and getting a chance to share the gospel out of a ring, I was like, it's all right, okay, well, Moses preached on a mountain, Jesus preached out of a boat, uh, I guess this is my, uh, my calling, so I'll preach out of a wrestling ring, right? So, thank you guys for giving me your time and attention today, I, you know, Getting a chance to hear a few people speaking up here, getting a chance to hear Cody worship. And it's just, uh, it's amazing to set the tone, right, for the Lord. In Genesis, it talks about the Spirit of God hovered. It hovered. And I truly believe that the Spirit of God hovers no matter where we go. He's always in us, He's always working through us. And that's amazing to think. Today, I just want to share. I want to share a little bit of my story, where I come from, the things I've battled. And my hope is that through this testimony, through sharing Jesus with you guys, that whatever you're going through in life, you realize that we serve a good God. We serve a good God. 2002, I joined the Marine Corps. Got any veterans out here? Thank you for your service. Thank you very much. Yes. So from 2002 to 2006, here's where I went from a small town, Hickory, North Carolina. I don't know if I mentioned that's where I was from. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a fan. <laughs> yes, that's where I'm from. So, you, yeah, <laughs> we, I leave this small town, Hickory, North Carolina, joined the Marine Corps in 2002, get out of Paris Island, end up at Camp of June, start traveling for the Marine Corps, and, and I'm exposed to this world. You know, not, it's something I didn't, I wasn't exposed to in Hickory. I mean, little furniture town my dad was a meat cutter and I mean it's just I wasn't exposed to this stuff and these things these people I started to hang out with started to drag me down started to pull me into um, you know the worldly desires of the flesh the first John 2 talks about these things that, that were literally taking me away from God they were my idols they were what I enjoyed this was drinking this was pill problems I, I'm not um, proud of any of this, but these are things I share because they drug me down. I mean, there was times I was so blackout drunk that I, I would wake up and not remember how I got where I was. And all I know is that I look now and I'm like, the Lord took care of me, big time. Even when I was not chasing Him and seeking Him, I was running from Him and allowing the world to drag me down, living for the flesh, basically. I got out of the Marine Corps in 2006 and started pursuing my dream of being a pro wrestler. That's what I wanted since I was five years old. So I pursued it. I gave everything. I chased it. I chased it I, with all that I had. I started traveling more and, and started to realize that the things that I was getting into was just consuming me. I started to take my eyes off the cross, forget what Jesus had done for me, and I continued down this, this path of, of basically hell. I continued down that path. I was lost. I was beaten. I was broken. There was times I was cursing God, wondering if He was real because of the mistakes I was making, you know? These are lives I was, the, the mistakes or the things I was choosing was causing me to, you know, God, where are you? The whole time he was right there with me. I, I can vouch for that by many things I went through. I was out of control. I was broken. But here, here I was, a man living his dream, his dream of being a pro wrestler. Because 2010, I signed my first contract with uh, Impact Wrestling. I used to be on Spike TV. Here I was, a man living his dream. Fulfilled it all. Contract, all that stuff. But deep down inside, I was broken. I was lost. I was looking, searching. It's crazy to think about. Because it's just another lesson of, of knowing that no matter what we seek in the world, we're never truly full and complete until we're in Christ, right? A new creation. And it's so true. Matthew 16, 26 says, For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What do you profit? 
what was I profiting by selling out to the world and what conforming to the world, Romans 12, 2, right? What was I what was I gaining? I wasn't gaining anything. I, mean, I was making money wrestling. I was famous or whatever we say. I was signing autographs and meeting people and all this stuff, but deep down inside I was lost. None of that filled anything. My choices were taking me away from Jesus, and I was seeking after what my flesh wanted, not what the Spirit wanted. He's given me a second chance when there was times where I was behind the wheel drunk, could have killed myself, could have killed other people. He gave me a second chance all because He has a purpose. He has a purpose for us all. So remember today that it's in the cross and it's in the blood of Jesus, it's in a relationship with Jesus that we can be set free. We can True freedom's found, hope is found, love is found, restoration is found, families are rebuilt, marriages are rebuilt, hearts are rebuilt, empty voids are truly filled, because the world's going to try and fill our hearts with nonsense, false doctrine, but the fact is, is it's the cross and it's the love of Jesus that gives us this hope, this satisfaction, that I can stand up here and tell you it's what's changed my life. And I'll say this, because my grandfather, my grandmother, my mom, dad, so many people that I, I turned away from when I was going through trials and tribulations, because they kept pouring into me and praying behind closed doors and I never knew it, that intercession planted seeds, whether I knew it or not. So maybe you're one of those intercedes for a prodigal son or a prodigal daughter or whatever it may be. Just know that God hears those prayers. He hears those prayers. We'll have to go through a season sometimes when we wait. Sometimes he'll snap his fingers and things happen right off the bat. But other times, man, there's, there's a long waiting process. But that's that building and refining. That's that building and refining. Romans 10, 13, and I'll close with this. It says, For everyone calls on the name of the Lord, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. We go. It's about showtime. Pray for me. Pray for me, because I just don't know what. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to. Oh, man, me and a wrestling ring, just don't know. I just don't know. It's gonna be good stuff. Lots of great stuff happening here. Come back, be a part. Sunday mornings, 11 o'clock. One more time. Let's give it up for Chad Lell. Real quick, I, Pastor Benji, I, I don't know if some of the, the folks out here saw it or not, but there was a man. I gotta, I gotta tell, I gotta talk about something right now. I mean, we're in the ring. You know, well, we, we kind of concluded service. I we think did, but this has nothing to do with the service now. But you, you posted a video where you were calling me like you said this is GI Joe or I don't know, man. I mean, you, I think you accidentally left your phone on. Now that's a big mistake. Now my rebuttal was. Um, I think I'm going to have to teach you a lesson about respect and destroy you in the name of the Lord. Uh, so real I, quick, real I quick. I think I remember something about that. You do. Now, we got a ring here, dude. Uh, we, we got an audience, and I believe a lot of people would love to see a pastor get just kicked around the ring a couple times. Yeah? No? <laughs> I don't know why my church people are clapping. Yeah, they're clapping. Man, so what do you think there, Pastor Benji? Wambo? Is that what you called yourself? Wambo? Listen, all right, first thing here, one thing you underestimate is I'm a pastor for the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you know what that means? I am capable and have taken many beatings, okay. so I will survive anything you throw my way, and yes, my name uh -oh. is not just Wambo. It is Big Daddy Wambo. <laughs> Wow. Well, uh, and I'm ready for anything you got, so let's do this. Are you? Do okay. you want to see it? Oh, he's got his big boy pants on. Okay, do we got a referee in the house? We got yeah. one right there. Whoa, he's funky. Here we go. You, but you, hey, real quick, real quick. Ref, give me a second. I'm going to make this fair, though, because in that video, you guys are in the car, you and your uh, long-haired pretty boy buddy there, handyman. Yeah, he is pretty. Yeah. So... I want to make it fair. I'm going to let you have a partner. I want handyman out here, too, because i got a bone to pick with both of you guys. You want the handyman? Oh, I want the handyman. You want the handyman? Yes. Well, you got it. Bring out the handyman. Oh, here we go. Don't worry, Pastor.
Pastor Benji, the handyman has a plan. I hope you All got right. a big you ready plan. for this? Oh, I'm ready. What is this guy? Pastor Benji Wambo, come on. <laughs> big Daddy Wambo. This is what you chose? He's got to look good, man. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. All right, you know, ring the bell. You guys want to see this? You don't know what you got yourself into there, Pastor Good. Benji. No close fist. Yeah. All close fist. All close fist. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. You don't know what you got yourself into. <laughs> been a day of it um a hot day right well it's like almost like 80 degrees out here feels hotter <laughs> do you know why because you with handy man how <laughs> so fellas okay hold on let me see if i can do this with one hand Philip. so how how do you guys feel about today how what's your excitement level because y'all know mine like this you know it's just uh, the perfect ten. This was, yeah, this was absolutely <laughs> something I dreamed about in childhood. I, I hope the Lord don't take me home tonight. <laughs> it was that good. But no, seriously, it was, it was great, man. Just great people, great worship, great message. And then, you know, the wrestling, that was just so much fun. Uh, to actually be in one of these, I mean, it's just a dream. It really was. So actually... Didn't you coward out? You really didn't. You were going to charge the guy. Well, you know, I got a family. I've got kids. I got bills to pay, a church to lead. You know, and you said you had my back and you said you had I a did. plan. So well, I, I did. Had it. Well, before he brought up them shears and started to cut my hair. You know. <laughs> All right, and then we've got this fellow what here. What did he do? What did I tell you he would do? He tapped out. <laughs> That's fine. Look, if I don't have my hair, I can't make the money. Crowd, the crowd was going wild for me, y'all. Y'all should have heard it. I mean, and then they and beat me And then up. what happened? They beat me up. I got a clothesline from the Chad Lil. Nice. And, and a little kick from your past. Yep. Hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they kicked me while I was down. But that's all right. The rematch will happen. You've been, been kicking the seat for about a year now. So at least you got a <laughs> kick in the side. Yeah. Uh, I'm messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. Well, we're just going to say that this is a wrap you guys enjoyed this um remember even though you might get beat in the ring you might wimp out in the ring tap out in the ring always remember you are awesome see you later hey guys make sure to like this video subscribe and ring that notification bell you're awesome <laughs>